Welcome to Alien Invasion Gaming. My name is Roy, and in this video we'll take a look at tasks that require shotgun kills. Let's get started. I stream on Mixer Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Central. Come on by and say hello. You can also catch me on Twitter at at Reglar10. I'll be posting when I go live, and feel free to ask me any questions you might have about Tarkov. There are several tasks in Tarkov that require shotgun kills. Spa Tour Part 1 requires 7 kills using a 12-gauge headshot. You've got Setup, which requires killing 15 PMCs in Customs using um, a shotgun, MP133 or 153. Punisher Part 4 requires 10 scavs being killed using 12-gauge. And then you've got the Silent Caliber, where it requires uh, more scav and PMCs using a suppressed 12-gauge shotgun. All right, so in Tarkov, as of patch 12.2, there are five shotguns available. You have the Taz, which is a two-shot by default as you buy it. There is the MP133, which is a six-shot. Uh, there is the Sega, which you can't actually buy from a vendor. You have to uh, get it in raid from Scavs or Flea Market if you're level five and above. Then there's the uh, 870, which is a four-shot by default when you buy it, and the MP153. Now, uh, each of these guns is sort of a different price point. Um, the Taz is very cheap. Uh, the M87870 is pretty expensive. Uh, the rest are sort of in the middle. Uh, each of them have uh, options for various uh, magazine sizes. Taz, you can get a, a four or a five um, round cartridge. Uh, with the uh, MP133, 870, and the 153, you use internal magazines uh, that are then hand-loaded, so you can move down to a five-shot on the 153 using, uh, on the 133, sorry, using the 153 magazine, internal magazine, or you can use the eight-round uh, 133. Uh, you could also use the 153 seven-round if you wanted uh, for some optionality, or the six-round, but there's already a six-round in it. Uh, then uh, with the Sega, you can buy a power mag uh, for 20 rounds and then a uh, 10 round. But the 10 round takes up three slots, so there's very few vests that you can use that will allow you to have multiples of these. There's a 7 round and a 10 round option for the 870, and then there's 5, 6, 7, and 8 for the 153. Now, the pros and cons of magazine size. Uh, if you're using an internal magazine, then the larger the magazine, the more shots you're going to be able to get off, and that's great. But the problem is, is that when you go to reload, uh, it takes a long time to hand reload eight shots. Uh, you saw me in the clip uh, at the start of the video where I was uh, trying to reload four or five shells, and it took a, a long time, a long time for being in the middle of a firefight anyway. Uh, so the advantage of the Taz and the Sega is, is that it's a very quick reload using um, magazines. And uh, so, you know, pros and cons. Uh, the, at the end of the day, uh, you should use something, a balance of what you think is going to work for you versus the speed of the kill. Uh, for me, I find that uh, I'm not a very good shot. And so as a result, I am uh, looking for as many rounds as possible. And that's why I use the internal magazine, eight rounds, for the MP153. Now, uh, these guns have sort of two different firing speeds. The Taz, the 133, and the 870 all have uh, basically 30 rounds per minute. And I know that sounds very fast. That's uh, one round every two seconds. But in the middle of the fight, it, it's going to feel very slow. Uh, I'll pull up some uh, footage in a minute of, uh, of the comparison between a 30 rounds per minute and then, say, a 40 rounds per minute with uh, the other shotguns, the MP-153 and the uh, Sega. Okay, here we're going to see the uh, 133 and uh, how fast uh, I'm clicking the mouse key as quick as I can. You'll see uh, the speed. All right, if we now take the uh, 153, which is a 40 rounds per minute, you'll see the speed. And it's quite different. And that speed difference can make a real difference in a fight. I tried taking the 133 into uh, a couple of raids, 
and giving it a go, and unless I dropped them on the first hit, you know, my follow-up shots were much slower, and if I was against somebody who had a, you know, uh, um, assault rifle or, you know, really good aim on a sniper weapon, uh, I typically was the loser of that engagement. So what do I recommend? I recommend either the Sega or the MP153. For me, the being able to get more rounds downrange in a small, smaller period of time is definitely advantageous for me getting the kill, whether it's a SCAV or a PMC. The Sega, uh, I would take in either a Power Mag or a 10-rounder, just a single one, and uh, then reload as necessary, uh, temporarily using the five rounds while I did that uh, repacking of the mags. Now, the Power Mag 20 is very expensive. It's like 40k rubles on the flea market right now, so maybe the 10 round is more suitable for people's budgets. But at the end of the day, being able to swap in and out a magazine very quickly was definitely an advantage. Uh, unfortunately, there's a quest where you have to use the MP133 or the 153, so uh, I would also suggest that when possible, practice with the 153 and get used to reload speeds, figure out what, what, what size magazine is going to work for you, whether it's a default six round, whether you should take in the five round or even the four round in order to get a quicker reloads. For me, I found it typically took between three and five shots to get a kill. And as such, uh, I probably could have used a smaller magazine and reduced my reload time. Again, personal preference. I think you've all got to play with it and figure out for yourself what's going to work. Now, there are a lot of options when it comes to ammo for the shotguns. You've got uh, pellet type uh, you know, typical 12 gauge uh, pellets, then you've got uh, solid slug ammo. I am not going to go through the various choices. I will link in my description, though, a, a video that was done by Pistilli, uh, where he compared various rounds and ultimately settled on either Flechette for the pellet style round or the AP-20, which is a slug type round. I personally am using the AP-20. Uh, it gives the most accuracy and uh, allowed me to, to try to get as many shots on body as I could. With the pellet uh, ammo, you've obviously got spread from the gun, and depending upon how close or how far away from you, uh, away from the target you are, uh, the effectiveness would vary. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button. If you didn't like the video, then feel free to hit the dislike button and leave me a comment telling me what you didn't like about the video. If you'd like to get notified for future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And please make sure you check out Pastilli's video about the uh, ammo. Uh, he did a lot of good testing. He does a lot of good streaming and content. Uh, make sure you check him out. See you next video.